Okay, what's happening people? Jono here from Fitness Education Online. Welcome to our channel if it's your first time on here. And it's actually a, a specific series. If you've landed on this video here, I've got a specific series, which is all about social media marketing tips for fitness professionals. What I've done is I've gone and sought out the, the 10 best um, social media marketing professionals, specifically for fitness professionals in the world, and they're going to give you their top three tips in less than 10 minutes. Um, now, I'm going to shoot over and give them a bit of an introduction in a second. Just before I do that, let me tell you that we've also got another series, which is business tips in general. So this one here is all social media marketing. We've got another one, which is um, business based. Now, I've interviewed the same people on, on both of them because they're very closely related, uh, obviously. So it's the same introduction for both. So if you get to the introduction, you're like, well, hold on, haven't I heard this exact same introduction before? Yes, it has. I've just used the same introduction. You could call it, uh, I don't know whether it's lazy on my behalf, or it's just smart or, or time efficient on my behalf. I like to call it smart and time efficient. Um, you can call it what you want. But anyway, let me introduce this week's guest. What's happening, YouTube? Jono from Fitness Education Online. Time to drop our latest episode on how to get more clients for your personal training business. If you're new to the channel, the way this show works is every episode, I interview a different expert in the space. That expert, that expert gives their three best tips in less than 10 minutes on how to get clients for your personal training business. I've got an absolute rock star this week. He's the owner and founder of Fitness Enhancement. If you're not aware of Fitness Enhancement, they're the largest mobile personal training franchise in Australia. There's hundreds of trainers that work for them. Um, they service over 2,000 suburbs, and it was all started by this person here back in 1999 with his whole life savings of 400 bucks in his pocket. So without further ado, let me introduce the, Mr., uh, the one and only Mr. Scott Hunt. Uh, Scott, what are your three best tips? So I'm going to talk about sales tips to keep clients for over 10 years. Now, for us here at Fitness Enhancement, we've had some of our clients for over 20 years now, and we've had loads for over a decade. So that's a pretty tough thing to achieve. But if you're an awesome trainer and you get the right type of person, it can actually be pretty easy. But you've got to have both those things. You've got to be an awesome trainer. You can keep long-term customers and you have to get the right type of person. So my three top tips are all about how you're gonna get that right type of person who wants to stay with you for 10 plus years versus 10 weeks. So my tip number one is aim for quality, not quantity with your clients. Don't be going for how many leads can I get the cheapest price? I'm gonna throw away discounts and give a free set of steak knives and all those different things. Good clients don't respond to that. If you're looking at hiring a personal trainer for 10 plus years, you're not going to hire them just because suddenly it's a free set of steak knives or the, the fitness equivalent of it, whatever that is. We've all seen those, the, the, those Facebook ads before. So focus on that quality, not quantity. Um, also with that too, talk to the type of person that you actually want to be getting. So if someone's gonna stay with you for 10 plus years, they're gonna be wanting long-term results. Their goal is not necessarily to get fit for summer. A lot of people want to get fit for summer, quit in winter. And then you have no clients in winter and come the next summer, you've got to find more clients. That's fine. That works for some people. But for me, I'd rather have a couple less clients and get that person who's going to be staying for 10 years. That person whose goal is to live to an old age so they can see their kids grow up, so they can see their grandkids one day. That person who's looking for long-term health benefits, that's, that's a much better client we find. So it's about targeting your message towards that person for, for the actual long-term success of the client. And that's the type of person it attracts. So tip number two is play the long game in getting these clients. Um, again, that person's not going to be going, oh, gee, free session today. I'll take that. That's, that's, uh, the person's got the money to spend on a long, long-term client. It doesn't really care about one free session or 20% off or anything like that. They, they really don't care. They care about getting the right person for them and their goals long-term. So really play the long game with it. Don't go discounting with it. You don't need to, and you probably don't like to. I know I don't like to discount for people. So focus on that quality and playing the long, long, long game. Um, a lot of these best clients, you're often not going to get them immediately. You're not going to whack up a Facebook ad or a social media post 
and then boom, you have heaps of them coming in. Give something for free, you might get plenty of people, but that's not a very good pay rate, is it free? It's about getting those, those long-term people. So really focus on building those long-term relationships. Check back with some of other videos about, about how to build that trust is a really big part of it. Um, and get to know people, build that relationship, and that's then eventually gonna come. The, the longest period of time we've ever had anyone say they took to join us from when they first inquired was seven years. Because they'd seen our marketing for seven years. We could trace it back with everything traced and so on. Now, again, we don't really want to wait seven years to get clients in general, but it just goes to show that that stuff does have an impact and people do get to know you. And this lady thought that she knew us inside out because she'd seen our things for seven years. She'd told people about us. And she's now six or seven years on, I think, from memory from when she joined. So she'll be a 10-year plus client for us, I think. So my third tip is under-promise and over-deliver for the next decade or two decades in our case with some of our clients. Now, that seems like a pretty obvious one, but your client who's going to stay for 10 years is only going to stay for 10 years if you do a damn good job every single session again and again and again. You build up some brownie points with them over those, those years, of course, but you still have to under-promise and over-deliver. We, funny enough, pick up so many clients who have been with a trainer for a couple of years, then the trainers decide to treat them like a friend drop their standards and the client's basically gone, I'm not paying for gossip. I'm paying for results. And they've left and they've come to us. So it's a really, really big one. We all get really comfortable with our clients after a couple of years. So just don't let that professionalism drop down. You're professional, act like it. Don't act like their best buddy. Now, it can also be hard to actually do that. It sounds super easy, under promise, over deliver. We all say that in business, right? But it, over a 10 year period, you're going to have good things and bad things happen in your life that and your clients have good things and bad things happen in your life. For, for us, one of our clients, I've had her, her for over 20 years. So from when I was a single teenager with no kids to now married with two kids, life changes a little bit, but we've been able to keep her because the basic values of me going, her number one priority is her results means she's actually stayed with long term she now trained with uh, other trainers of ours i don't train people on a daily basis now but we've made sure we've kept those values and that promise i gave her as a teenager who she gave a go it's still the same today nothing's changed with that so if you do that you get the right type of person in front of you and you look after them then hopefully you'll keep some people for over 10 years too all right. Awesome tip, Scott. Uh, if there's a, a trainer, a fitness professional listening to this and they're like, okay, I want to follow this guy. I want to um, be a member of his team. Where do we find you? Yeah, well, the best spot to go is go to our website, fitnessenhancement.com. Check out what we do in general. But if you're interested in joining our team, either as a personal trainer where we provide all the clients, all the marketing, do everything, or as a business owner where it's our big business helping your small business, then just click on one of the links there about, uh, about that for personal trainers. Check it out and we'd love to see you have some clients for 10 plus years with us. So that's it for today's episode. I would love to invite you into the Fitness Education Online Community Facebook group if you're not in there already. It's a free Facebook group. There's thousands of trainers in there. We all share tips and ideas. Everyone's super supportive. And that's really what we do at Fitness Education Online. So uh, I'll see you in there.